Sitting on a chair so high up in the sky I know get camouflage to use for my disguise I'm flying real high, I know they come from my But the problem is they grab me, do they think I'm twice But if I fall in case you are joining the program for the first time, Earth Talk is a program whereby we talk about your Earth, things you need to know, things you need to do for your Earth, and things you need to prevent for your Earth. And I'm not doing it alone today. I have my, my let me say, our daddy, my daddy. I know other person than Dr. Ogumose. Good day, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. How has been your day? So far, so good, we thank God. Thank you, sir. Um, today we want to talk about um, a breast lump and a breast cancer, which is very, very rampant nowadays when it comes to we ladies. But, but mo most of us, the problem is that we don't discover it. And what we don't discover, we can't recover. And I don't have any knowledge about this thing. I personally, I don't know how to discover it. Maybe I have, maybe I do. So I don't know. So that's why I come down here to... Uh, that's why we came here to interview you, sir. Okay. Sir, firstly, what is breast lump? Well, to put it simply, a breast lump is any swelling or hardening or lump in the breast. Okay? Yes, sir. So, by that definition, something like a boil in the breast will be a breast lump. Cancer in the breast will be a lump. Some other things in the breast will also be lumps. Some other things in the breast? Yes, as in some other diseases. Okay. Normally, the breasts don't have lumps. Normally. It's only when there is a disease condition that there is breast lump. Okay, sir. So that's breast lump. Yes. What about breast cancer? Breast cancer is a breast lump that has become malignant. Okay, so let me try to explain that. When we talk about lumps, they are usually classified broadly into two. Benign, which means harmless, okay. and malignant, which means harmful. Okay. So when a breast lump is malignant, that is when it becomes cancer. What of the one that is harmless? The one that, they are, in fact, most breast lumps are actually harmless. Cancer of the breast, compared with other breast lumps, is relatively uncommon. So about 80% of breast lumps are benign. Only about 20% are cancer. So can we remove this one as an operate? Can we operate it or we can leave it like that? Since it is as not in the stopping. benign? Yes. Um, it's debatable. Debatable in the sense that when there is a lump in the breast, okay. the first thing you want to determine is, is it benign or malignant? And the best way to do that is to perform a little surgery and remove the lump. And then take it to the laboratory and check it. If it is benign, then the test has already cured the problem, as it were, because you have removed the lump. If it is malignant, then there may be reason to do some other things in addition to just removing the lump. Okay. Mm. Thank you, sir. Um, what are the symptoms of breast lump? Uh, the symptoms of breast lump depend on the cause of the breast lump. Okay, sir. If it is benign, as in not cancer, okay. most of the time what you will notice will be a lump in the breast. There may or may not be pains. There may or may not be itching. Okay. There may or may not be swelling of one breast bigger than the other one. Okay. But usually for cancer, especially in the advanced stage, there are so many symptoms that can be associated with that. There can be dimpling, like the peel of an orange. We call it peeled orange. Like the peel of an orange, there can be that. There could be swelling one breast much bigger than the other one. There can be a sore on the breast. But by the time breast cancer gets to that level, is advanced and is probably no longer treatable. It is better to catch it when it is still a small lump and it can be removed, usually with the breast. Okay, but there is this uh, situation, what we ladies normally believe is that it is normal for one breast to be bigger than the other one. Yes, it is normal. But how can we know when you say, uh, when you said earlier that 
one will be bigger when it is breast cancer. Yeah. When it's breast cancer, one will be much bigger, not much just a bigger. little bigger. Okay, okay, yeah. sir. Okay, for how long can lump develop in the body? Uh, it depends on whether it is malignant or benign. What I mean is, then even if it is benign, it depends on the type of uh, breast lump. Let me use the example of fibroadenoma. It's usually common in younger ladies. Okay. It starts as a small lump, it moves around freely, it is benign. Okay. That one may take several months or even years yes. before it becomes significantly big. Whereas if it is cancer, especially when it is uh, a rapidly growing cancer, okay. it can grow from a small size to a very big size within a few months. So the rapidity of growth we also suggest whether it is whether it is malignant or benign. How many types of lumps and cancer do we have? Ah, they are like I said, benign and malignant uh, lumps. Yes. The commonest benign lump is fibroadenoma. Uh, but many of these things are medical. But if you okay. You yeah, have not looked at the breast no, at the breast before. But if you look at the breast, the skin over it can have cancer. Inside it, there are, uh, like, should I say, ducts that carry the milk can develop cancer in the duct. Then in the body of the breast uh, itself, there can be, can, I mean, there can be lumps. So it depends, one, on where the lump is arising and whether it is benign or malignant. And many of these things are medical, but the most important thing is a woman who is uh, sexually mature, started menstruating and has food in her breast, should examine the breast regularly. Regularly, like? Is it at least once a month. Once in a month. Yes. So that you are familiar with your breast and whenever there is any change, it will be very easy for you to pick it up. And once you notice that there is a lump in your breast, you should see a doctor immediately so that he can examine it, determine whether it is uh, malignant or benign, and then go ahead to remove it for medical, I mean, for laboratory examination. But people are scared of uh, removing it when it comes to a patient like you know I don't want to I don't want to do this I don't want to do that let me just leave it without uh, without testing or without without doing the mammogram maybe it is benign or malignant. No, mammogram may not actually be able to determine whether it is benign or malignant. Good. But the bottom line is, if there is a lump in the breast, the earlier it is picked up, the better. And if it is picked up very early, you may still be able to remove the lump alone and take it to the lab and test it. But by the time it is getting bigger, if it's discovered that it looks cancerous, then we have to remove the whole breast. Well, the whole breast? Then, not just, not just the lump now, the whole breast, if we suspect this cancer. Because by the time you are looking at cancer as a lump, it would have add tentacles into the surrounding tissue. So if you remove the lump alone, the ones that are in the surrounding tissues will start developing again. And that will be another problem. So what are the causes of lump? Breast lump? Yes. Most of the... Okay, let me say, when we talk about causes of breast lump, there are no causes per se, in the sense of uh, mosquito bites causes malaria. Yes. What we have are risk factors. There are some people who are more likely to develop breast lumps. Okay. So for instance, now, uh, a lady who comes from a family where others have had breast lumps in the past is more likely to have a breast lump. Yeah. Is that... In the same way, there's a form of heredity involved. Okay, okay. So for somebody who has, who has a, in fact, a mother or a sister has had cancer, then that person is very likely to develop cancer. The risk is higher. Okay. Yes. Now, there are a lot of irritants that are implicated in cancer of the breast. For example, dioxin. And dioxin comes from heated plastic. Heated plastic. That is why we say don't keep your bottled water in the car in the sun or display your plastic uh, drinks 
in the sun like people sell in the market and display because when the plastic is heated up it produces dioxin and that dioxin is implicated in breast cancer okay. Okay. then uh, people don't breastfeed are more likely to develop breast lumps who people have never breast... who have never breastfed okay. are more likely to develop them there's a mother not so common causes but the basic one is that heredity and then um, exposure to some chemicals like dioxin that I mentioned earlier. And some of uh, some of doctors, let me let me use doctors. They say mm. they do say um, um, this uh, our snacks, indomie, pie, mm. that it causes lump. That we ladies we don't know, especially especially when it comes to eating fast food, that is very very rampant. Okay, let me say that it is not as if these things cause breast lump as it were. Okay. Most processed food contain chemicals okay. that are used as flavors to improve the taste, to okay. improve the color, to improve the smell, okay. then preservatives to keep it for a long time. And many of these chemicals are actually injurious to women health. They are carcinogenic. They have the capacity to cause cancer, not only of the breast, for any part of the body. So it is advisable to minimize the intake of packaged food and drinks okay. because the preservatives and flavors that are used in those uh, products are potentially carcinogenic yes. like the recent case of uh, Fanta and Sprite yes yes benzoic acid at some levels mixed with vitamin C is potentially carcinogenic Sergeant. yes carcinogenic means it can cause cancer, cancer. Um, wow um, <laughs> Okay, sir, so how can we prevent it? The prevention is mainly um, more of early detection. Okay, so that you don't have a, um, let me say, breast lump, it's difficult to really prevent that. But avoiding, like we said, processed food would help. Then regular breast examination so that when there is any change in your breast you quickly notice and then you are able to do something about that. I think mean, those are the basic things. Then mammogram can also help. Yearly mammograms, especially for women. Yearly. Yes. Especially, what especially for people have? who are above forty. Forty. Okay. Yeah, I know it's usually for people who are above forty. Mm. What of the issue of uh, so, like some ladies now, mm. when they are, when they want to sleep, they sleep with the bra. Mm, I don't know how comfortable that is. Me too, and, I don't know. And for what reasons why do we want to do that? But many of those things are just incidental. You cannot really say whether they increase the risk of breast cancer or not. Mm. Somebody, some people will also talk about dirty bra, uh, bra that is not fun. Those ones are not really serious uh, risk for breast cancer. All right, sir. Thank then you. there is a, also a slight risk of previous abortions. I forgot previous to mention that. Abortion. Somebody has had a previous abortion has a higher risk of developing cancer of the breast of the okay. yeah. yeah. So thank you very much, sir. That's all about my, my question. Pleasure. And okay. some people really asked me this question which i don't know i don't know personally good so but i know you are a doctor okay. and you do justice to that I hope and so. the first question says in a situation whereby a person has been operated twice and another lump developed what's the solution the solution is to operate it again so after twice yes for, for example now the person who has had it operated twice and it's probably a benign lump is likely to be fibroadenoma fibroadenoma can happen in one breast happen in the other breast or happen several times in the same breast and the solution will still be to go back and remove the lump it's usually small if you catch it early and taking it out is actually a small operation it's not something that is so it's such a big deal so okay, one sir. should not be scared to remove it again and again okay the second one here says i discovered a stone in my breast and I'm, and, and I'm scared of what it is. What can I do? A stone. Go and see a doctor immediately. You are a doctor. Uh, so the person should come and see. Okay, sir. <laughs> Lastly, how effective is mammogram? 
very effective in this um, in, in in this in discovering cancer, especially cancer of the breast early. And if you can catch it the American very early when it is still very small, then the surgery and uh, other treatments will be effective in actually curing that cancer rather than when it has become bigger and it has spread to surrounding tissues. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. It's my pleasure. Thank you, sir. Um, any advice for me, ladies? The advice I want to go on with is if you have any abnormality, lump, or hardness in your breast, see a doctor immediately. All right, sir. Thank, Thank you very you. much, sir, Dr. Ogumose. It, it's my hope pleasure. Hope next time we come here, you answer us. I hope so, too. You hope so? How you will? I hope so. You hope so? Yeah. All right, sir. Thank you very much. It's, it's my still pleasure. It's still NCTV with your host for the most popular day. Join and us in Promise that you won't let me I'm not afraid to try I'm praying not